Hey guys. Hey guys, accidental bore. Uh, it's me, Rumi. Um, so we found, well, I found, um, uh, more firebrood from Spreke. Uh, orange Dream. Now, I don't know if that means it's an Orange Dream sickle or if it's just going to be orange soda, but either way. Or orange flavored root beer. That's a thing too. Yeah. I, have I think once. they would have to disclose that. God, I hope it's not. I had that one too. Oh, also, this is made with honey, just like the other one was. And I don't know if you guys remember that video, but it was really bland. So, yeah. Ha! <laughs> It tastes like a Flintstones pop. That's amazing. What's a Flintstones pop? Dreamsicle. You've never had a Flintstones Dreamsicle? Oh, I'm touching. Damn. Mm -hmm. First taste, okay, and then it's got a really bad aftertaste. <clears throat> Leave something on the tongue that's like, eh. Maybe it's just because I'm used to eating dream sickles. I don't notice that. It's like the initial flavor is okay, and then it just leads at this. Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. So dream sickles were notorious for being really, really delicious, but they were in a cardboard tube. So you would get the taste of the dream sickle, and then you would get the taste of cardboard tube. Oh, so they included the cardboard into the drink. Wow, it's so wonderful. Well done, guys. Well done. Yeah, Please you don't know. Do it again. That's that's what it is. It's the cardboard taste from the original Flintstone creamsicles. <laughs> That's painful. That's all you do. That's all you. Yeah, man, if you loved Flintstones pops, even though they tasted like cardboard after the initial lick, fantastic. You are not selling it for me. <laughs> yeah, it's great. All right, accidental bore out. We'll bring you something. I uh, I found that prime drink water that some person made. They have a semi-famous name, but I honestly don't follow stuff like that. So I don't remember. So I'll get back to you guys with that. Peace out.